Yeah, hey, we're going to see what a cameraman can do here. That's Don Kay. That's Roger Ward Jr. Now, his dad only won this race twice, 59 and 62. Roger, when's the first time you remember coming to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway? Well, I remember coming the first time was in 1961. Uh, we were really excited about it. We wore our ties and sat in, the, sat in the Tower Terrace. Yeah, I wore a suit and tie to the first race. 61 was my first one. Wow. And it, when did you realize your dad was famous? You know, I really never uh, never had that, never realized how really special these guys are. Because, you know, you're hanging around with them, you go to dinner with right. them, you're playing with their kids and all that other stuff. They're just like anybody else's mom or dad up and down the street, you know. But of course, I think really I didn't realize what, a, what it really took to win this race until after uh, maybe about 66. Isn't that something? And that was, uh, that was your dad's, no, your dad retired in, yeah, in 66. Was it was last his last race. race. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Were you surprised when your dad retired? I was actually in the military in Turkey when he did it, so it did come as a complete surprise to me. How did but you I, hear about it? Phone uh, call, it was, newspaper? It was, uh, it was uh, uh, announced. Uh, it was in the Armed Forces newspaper is the way I, I heard about it, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What did, you, what, was, what did your dad tell you? I mean, at the victory bank, we just said he wasn't having fun anymore. Well, it was a scary thing for him that day. You know, they had problems with the steering of the car. He was the only car with a, with a, a, a supercharged uh, offie at the time. And when he'd get out of the throttle going down the back or down the end of the straightaway here, the thing would load up really good. And about the time he'd get the gas back on, the thing would go, uh, 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 and then take off. And, of course, about that time is when the steering issue was going on, and there was oil all over the racetrack. So he scared himself to death on every corner. He was certain he was going to crash. If he'd have stayed out there, just stayed out there, he'd have won that one. Oh, my. The race no one wanted to win. Yeah, no kidding. Well, thank you ever so much, Roger. It's always great to see you back here in May. Of course, you have a house here and on the West Coast. We do, yeah. We live here and in Manhattan Beach, California. Pretty pretty good life. You got a lot of your dad's stuff? Still I got a lot of memories? I have the important stuff. I've got his rings. Yeah, let's just get it. And those are cool, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I've got his rings, yeah. and I've got the 59 winner's trophy. Oh, wow. And uh, some other one-of-a-kind stuff like that. Well, your dad was a great man. He was, uh, he was always my favorite when I was a little kid growing up, and so... It's an honor to talk and see you every month of May. That that's, uh, means a lot to me, Dave. Thank you. And my dad, uh, I'm sure he's in heaven right now thanking you. Yeah. Thanks, Roger.